Hi everyone, so let's now take a look at the Prebish Singer Hypothesis. So this really helps us to understand the fact that there are various limitations when it comes to actually exporting and relying upon primary products as your main export earner. Okay, now the reason for this is because this hypothesis argues that the long run price of primary goods, that is commodities such as oil, uh, will decline relative to the price of manufactured goods. And as a direct consequence of this, the terms of trade for those countries which are reliant upon um, primary products will worsen over time. Okay, so the manufactured goods they will import and those prices relative to the actual uh, price of the commodities that they are sending abroad will uh, actually increase, okay, and that will worsen the terms of trade. So to help understand this and really explain this well, you need to be very clear on your income elasticities of demand here. So it can be explained by considering income elasticity of demand for primary versus manufactured goods. Now, as I've mentioned previously, when it comes to uh, consumers' demand for oil, consumers' demand for oil does not increase a huge amount when uh, they enjoy increases in their income. So as a direct consequence of that, as we come back to this point, we can see that the long run price of primary products will only increase uh, slightly as a result of that, and it will decline relative to the price of manufactured goods. Those goods, of course, are more desirable. They're likely to be far more consumer-based in uh, in the way in which uh, you interact with them. Okay, so the Prebish Singer hypothesis really does help us to uh, understand that the, the structure of global markets may actually be a primary cause of inequality. Now, that said, a number of countries have managed to move beyond this uh, reliance upon primary products. So, of course, if you look at China, that's, that's a very clear example of a country which has been uh, working up the value-added chain uh, in terms of its export sectors very successfully. But yet, it does blight various African economies, and that's worth considering. Okay, so... Um, the key point really to consider for these countries that uh, do export commodities uh, and rely upon those commodities as their main source of export earnings is to use those export revenues to diversify their export sector, to update it and invest in new technology uh, and, and really start to develop new infant industries in manufacturing sectors. Okay, of course this is easier said than done uh, and that may actually uh, demand various uh, protectionist policies to really get that infant industry off the ground. Round. Okay, uh, now the other really interesting evaluative point with regard to this is that some primary products, of course, are actually very, uh, very, very uh, desirable and uh, as a direct consequence of that, they're, they're more like luxury products. So if you consider, for instance, diamonds, if you consider gold, of course, they have high income elasticity of demand in contrast to a product such as oil. So it's an interesting area, this, and I really do suggest that you take a good look at the Observatory of Economic Complexity and have a look at various African economies to see how great their reliance upon uh, primary products is and how vulnerable they therefore could be to this Prebish Singer hypothesis. So there we go, guys. I hope that's been useful. Thanks a lot.